Ladies and gentlemen, felons and felines. Can you can you be a feline? I I don't know. That that one needs more uh, that one needs more work. Welcome to Prison Architect. How's everything going? I hope everything is going very well with you. Things are going well with me. I've skipped forward through the night. Uh, we are still a touch over capacity, but that's okay because over the course of this episode, we are most certainly going to be bringing on our most luxurious accommodation online yet. Uh, we still need to get the uh, the minimum security the minimum security wing up and running as soon as we possibly can. Now, I want to make these cells, you know, they're not going to be super luxurious. I mean, let's be, let's be real. It's, you know, it's only a three by three cell. It's just still a pretty, it's a pretty limited space that the prisoners are going to have, but it's going to be the most luxurious accommodation uh, that we can provide. So without further ado, let's see what we need to get in order to make this area really, really nice. So I believe if we go into if we go into logistics and then if we go into uh, minimum security grading this is the this is the minimum security grading that we want to roll out over the entirety of the uh, of the entirety of the minimum security cells or the entire minimum security block however 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 the individual room quality i want to be you know not not uh, not insignificant. Now, as you'll see, we've satisfied the condition of it being at least nine squares. In order to bump it up to the uh, the top level, we'd need to make it sixteen squares. So that's not going to happen quite yet. Uh, but you see, there's still a whole bunch of stuff that we can throw in here that will make the cell, you know, truly truly a wonderful place to uh, a wonderful place to chill. Uh, comfy beds, for example. I think comfy beds are something that we want to roll out. Uh, we're gonna roll comfy beds out to half of the cells. I don't think we can actually afford to roll it out to all of the cells. So we're gonna roll with normal beds. Uh, toilets as well. Toilets are pretty darned essential, and I don't believe that there is a comfy toilet as far as as far as I'm aware. I tell you what, might as well just search that just to make sure. Yeah, no such thing as a comfy toilet. Stick that next to the bed. Okay, excellent. There we go. We will get the piping all plumbed in in just a second. Uh, but back into here. What else? What else can we get? What else do we want to get? A large window. A large window sounds fantastic. An outdoor window also uh, seems fantastic. I mean, it's gonna be the it's gonna be the same darn thing. The, there's no difference between an outdoor window and a large window, given that we are going to be on the outside here. Uh, yep. There we go. Cool, get that in place. Excellent. So that is definitely going to that is definitely going to make some sort of difference. Now the bank balance is in a little bit of a dodgy place at this moment in time. However, we are about to finish I say we're about to finish inmate nutrition research. We're a bit we're a bit of the way through inmate nutrition research, which is fine. And we're also waiting for uh, the short term investment to pay off, which is gonna be kind of nice. Now we can pick up we can pick up an additional an additional grant. If we pick up cell block D, will we be able to instantly get it? I don't think we will be able to instantly get it because as soon as these cells come online, that's going to take our prisoner capacity up to 40. Now, we need to take our prisoner capacity up to 50 in order to unlock in order to unlock the monies from the cell block D grant, but that's that's fine. Uh, Long-term investment is a big no-no. I don't want to do that uh, at this moment in time. No siree. The criminally insane wing honestly does sound like something that i want to do because we've got because we've got a couple of criminally insane uh, patients as it is uh we've got i think they're staying in the i think they're staying in the holding cell i think they're staying in the holding cell as far as i'm aware uh right let's lock this jail door open so that we can allow everyone in cool and we will get the toilets in over here we also need to make sure that this area is kitted out to be uh to be a to be a canteen that is what i'm after the canteen can be supplied hopefully by the same kitchen we'll see if that makes a difference okay expand the canteen are we going to be able to have the appropriate amount of space i think so i think we'll totally be allowed to squeeze a canteen in here i mean it's a pretty exclusive canteen as it is so kind of hoping that we'll be able to fit everyone in here uh, a small table what about a small table a small table seems a small table seems fine not dead set against it uh, but I would love a large table actually yeah well we're gonna have to roll with a with a small table cool and then maybe a small table over here okay a good couple of small tables probably adequate 
It's gonna be a little bit cramped, but at the same time, you know, it's it's this is a luxurious this is a luxurious part of the prison. We'll throw in some windows as well, just to see if it uh, just to see if it makes it any better. Cool. All right. So now let's think about the insane wing. Now I I really do want the insane wing to be somewhere, somewhere over the sea here, somewhere over this river. Maybe this island over here would be uh, would be a darn good place to do it. I did try. If you'll recall, uh, in an episode a couple of days ago, I did indeed try to do a. A ferry. I did try to, to to get a ferry across across a stretch of water. However, what the heck is this? A notebook page? Oh, cool. All right, great. We got a, another notebook page. Kind of cool, I guess. Let me out of this menu, please. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I did try to get a ferry up and running. The ferry didn't really seem to work as well as as well as I thought it would. However, in saying that, in saying that, can we try again? Uh, we can maybe try again. Okay. Must have a parallel landmass to travel to. Will that work? Uh, is it also a case of not having enough money? No, it's not not a case of not having enough money. Oh, there is a there is an, an access point over here that we can definitely make work. Uh, the only problem is, is that that is kind of the most remote area. That is kind of the most remote area, and I was kind of hoping that maybe, just maybe, we could make it work a little bit better than that. No matter, why don't we see if we can try and get a footbridge up and running? That seems that seems kind of reasonable, right? Uh, yep, footbridge B. Can I get it rotated around here? Oh, I see what the problem is. I see what the problem is. Uh, okay, so the footbridge is not going to be long enough to stretch over this distance here. Now that is a conundrum, so it looks like we're going to have to roll with a ferry unless we want to, unless we want to find some other way of making this area work. Okay, well you know what? I've got a plan. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. I'm going to go into flooring. I'm going to get dirt, and we're going to build a straight edge here, and then we're going to see if we can stick the ferry terminal in over here somewhere. We will give that a shot. Okay. Is this being is this being zoned as uh, as minimum security? It should have been zoned as minimum security, as far as I'm aware. Uh, and yet it has not. That's fine. I'm sure we'll I'm sure we'll get there in just a second. Right. What's the cell rating looking like? Because we're we're all we're all keen on making sure that the uh, the cells are as nice as possible for the prisoners who have behaved themselves. Maybe a TV, a TV and a bookshelf. How about that? A TV and a bookshelf in, in, uh, in every in every room. That seems entirely logical. Okay, throw in some bookshelves. Uh, we'll probably end up getting the non-comfy beds replaced with comfy beds at some point. Don't know when it'll be, but I'm thinking that you know that's probably what we want to do. Also, you know what we can do? Something that is brand new. Uh, we can get, we can get some stepping stones. That's right. Some stepping stones to allow prisoners to cross over the, to allow them to cross over this little lake thing here. How cool is that? The stepping stones, they look pretty trendy. They look, they look pretty nice. Uh, soft, soft pillow. Where do we put the soft pillow? Do we put that on the bed? <gasps> we can put it on the bed. Okay, excellent. Let's put a soft pillow on each of the comfy beds. So there's going to be, you know, there's going to be five really, really nice rooms, and then there's going to be five nice rooms, you know, nice rooms, but not, not fantastic rooms. Okay, I also really need to start thinking about the criminally insane wing, because I am worried that I'm going to build, I'm going to build all of the minimum security stuff with all of the money that I have been given for the criminally insane wing. Right, did we flatten the did we flatten the edge? We did indeed flatten the edge. Okay, let's try with a ferry. I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic that the ferry is gonna work now. Hmm, it looks like it's just not just not keen. Just not keen on working. What is the reason for that? It looks like there is just some issue with the with the landmass over at this side. Now, is there any way that I'm going to be able to get my workers out here? I doubt they will be able to get out there. I suspect that that will be uh, an unobtainable 
unobtainable route to uh, to find to find a to find a way to that to that landmass. What? Okay. Well, apparently it just placed down just like that. It just placed it down automatically. That is excellent. That is very very good. I will take that. I will take that any day of the week. And what do you know? We've ended up getting a ferry for five grand. That is a very expensive ferry, but nonetheless, it will be completely fine for our needs, and it should be should be entirely adequate. All right, excellent. Let's get the pipework finished because I'm quite keen to get that all done. Uh, we need to erect the wall in the kennel area as well, but. I haven't really thought about how we're going to do that quite yet because we need a little bit of space in this room for the armory and the kennel, but we'll deal with that. We'll deal with that as we go. Uh, we've got eight prisoners arriving soon. Two pr prisoners in minimum security and uh, and six in medium security. You know what? I'm going to turn off. I'm going to turn off intake. Uh... Where am I? Yeah. Okay. Close the prison. Close the prison to any additional prisoners because, truth be told, I don't think that we need to do that at this moment in time. I, I think I want to create some sort of an incentive for prisoners to move up to, you know, nice comfy beds, nice comfy rooms, etc. That's what we want. We want to make sure that there is, uh, there is the ability to move on up and hopefully... Hopefully improve, improve and better the circumstances that these prisoners currently inhabit. Cool. Alright, so that is nice. We will keep up the visitation. Excellent. We don't need to do any... We don't need to do any shakedowns or any nonsense like that, although it might be a good idea to do just that. Uh, whilst that is ongoing, why don't we see if we can literally use the structure that is here. So the derelict... The derelict walls of this area we can use to see if we can build a... Build a, a criminally insane wing. Wowzers, that sounds... That sounds awful, actually. That sounds absolutely awful. What is this? Is this concrete floor? Is it gravel? I think this is... I think this is gravel, but I don't actually know. Uh, let's get this all replaced with dirt. Sure, get this all replaced with dirt. Excellent. Uh, and then we'll be able to finish out the building over here. Cool. Decreases a yard's grade. It's mud and it's free. Why would anyone ever elect to have mud if dirt is also free? Asking the important questions here. Okay. Right, so this is going to be the criminally insane wing. Uh, ten padded cells. Right, so if I'm not mistaken, padded cells are just the same as normal cells. But padded holding cell... Uh, padded solitary cell. Yeah, we just need a, a padded cell. I think, do we want to try and see maybe if we can make slightly larger cells than than just normal cells? So maybe a 3x3 three three, or maybe a maybe even a 3x4 if we can if we can afford it. What is that? That's a that's a 5x3. Okay, that seems a little excessive. So that would be a 4x3. Yeah, that's a 4x3. So that's pretty darn good if indeed that is the case. Okay, 4x3... Let me we have a little look. Uh, yep, so that's a 4x3 again. Excellent. What do we need? We need 10 padded cells. Mm, you know what? I'm kind of regretting... Kind of regretting making the cells this big. Because I think we're going to need all of the space that we can get. You know what? Throw this in here. See if we can... See if we can make it a... That's a 3x4. That's a three by three. They only need to be they only need to be two by three, but I think three by three seems adequate. It seems, you know seems reasonable, seems nice. And hopefully, if I'm able to do this, then we will have absolutely adequate space for the cells. Okay, so that is ten cells. That's excellent. This just looks like an asylum. It looks utterly dreadful, actually. Well, it looks great. It looks very, very on theme, on message. But, uh, but it looks terrifying, actually. It looks terrifying. Okay, how are the quality of these rooms? Not bad, actually. Not bad. Average. Average quality rooms. I like it. A sink and a mirror. Uh, let's see if we can get a sink and a mirror. That sounds, that sounds positive. Uh, sink and a mirror. Sink and mirror. Excellent. A hundred, a hundred bucks for that. Put that. We can't put it next to the window, unfortunately. Put that over here. 
Excellent. If I was one of the prisoners that was being allocated one of these cells, I would be pretty disgruntled, to be honest. I would be, I would be pretty peeved, given that, given that, uh, given that there's no way, there's no way that I'd be bumped across to the comfy, the comfy rooms. But you know, these are these are not a bad start. Okay, let's go into logistics. Let's check out food distribution. Let me see if I can add this. Can I add this? Can I add this kitchen here? Okay, somebody's ODing. That's not good. There are no kitchens capable of serving this uh, this canteen. Why not? Why can I not? Why can I not uh, get that linked up? Is it not possible to link up this kitchen to another? Okay, undo that. Can I try now? Why? Why is this not possible? Video game? It's possible to link that up there. Is it because there is no there is no solid route? There's no there's no uh, there's no kitchen capable. That's a very interesting that's a very interesting choice of words there. Okay. Uh, let me see if we can rectify that. I'm thinking maybe we throw in a large jail door over here. Maybe we see if we can get some dirt over here. Throw that in over there. I don't love it, but we'll we'll give it a shot. Maybe if we do that, then that will allow us to. That will allow us to maybe link, link up the kitchen. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. If it doesn't, we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to have another another think about this. No. Why why is this not the case? Why are we not able to link this up? This is a this is a travesty. This is a travesty of epic proportions. And there's just no there's just no chance. There's just no chance that we can do that. Are you telling me we're gonna have to get a bespoke kitchen? I really would rather not get a bespoke kitchen over there. Kitchens are, for want of a better term, expensive. Very, very expensive indeed. Uh is there any way that we can perhaps allocate the prisoners? over here to can we why are you not able to why are you not able to accept food that is that is what I'm that is what I'm curious about there should be there should be no reason that you're not able to accept food and there is no space for the prisoner in here okay well that's a bit of a bit of a big old bummer. There's only three prisoners there. I mean, I was just assuming. I was assuming that this would be a reasonably easy, a reasonably easy thing to deal with. We just, you know, we just sort out. We just sort out the prisoners' meals from the central canteen. That was kind of what I was uh, working to the assumption of. Also, this ferry dock is definitely not happening. Not by a long shot. I suspect that this ferry dock needs to be needs to be cancelled. Right click to cancel and then we'll try placing it in from the other side. Yeah, excellent. Okay, do that at that side. Yeah. Not capable of sending of sending the food to that canteen. Hmm. I don't understand that. I do not understand that, and that is a problem. Okay, well, we'll deal with that in just a second. I know prisoners are going to start to get antsy if they don't get fed, but they've got slightly more comfortable rooms than their medium security counterparts, so we're going to have to deal with that later. Okay, criminally insane wing, uh, criminally insane wing, 10 padded cells, intake 10 criminally insane uh, prisoners, hire two psychiatrists, each requires an office. Okay, so an office, an office, an office, an office. We will get uh, an office right over here. Uh, five by five, five by four. Mm. Unfortunately, it looks like we ain't gonna have the space to put an office in here. Okay, what about an office? What about an office over here? So that would be a five by five space. And then another five by five space out here. Cool. So we throw in some walls over in this vicinity here. A little bit funky, but you know, we keep the office uh, we keep the offices separated from the the main the main area. 
Uh, now, of course, when we when we start to develop this island, it is going to require all of its own separate amenities. Route has been blocked twice. How is the route being blocked? Is it something to do with the pathing of? Is it something to do with the pathing of? Uh, of the dirt that I've just ended up placing? Because it sure as heck shouldn't be. It sure as heck should not be blocked. In fact, it should all be working. Yeah, we don't have a cell for you. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's a, it's a real shame. Ah, yeah, but it's just not, it's just not working. Okay, well, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to just place a, we're just going to place a bunch of dirt across to this island then. I really don't want to do that, but I mean, frankly, I don't think I have any other option, really, at this point. Fill in the dirt. Maybe that will allow the kitchen to start working. Nope. Okay, well, you know what? We're gonna have to we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to build a kitchen over here then. That's the sad reality of the situation. It has to be done. Let me see if we can build it right over here. Excellent. Cool. And we'll get that linked up as well. Excellent. That's good. Uh, we need to make sure that there are doors at either side because apparently we are going to need to allow continual access through this building in order to allow people to get to the criminally insane area. I tell you what, is there a chance that this kitchen can supply perhaps a canteen over here? In fact, maybe this, maybe this area would be well suited to being a canteen. I tell you what, it wouldn't actually be a terrible canteen. We'd need to find somewhere for people to shower. Shower facilities over here. Yes, let's fill in this little... Uh-oh. Oh, deed. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go for a shakedown. No, you know what? Stop all. Medium security only. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's only shake down the medium security prisoners. That seems like a perfectly prudent thing to do whilst we are zoning our showers. Excellent. Okay, so fill this in with mud or dirt even. And for some weird reason, it should happen automatically, I believe. Or not. Okay, a couple of nefarious items. Nothing super major, to be honest. Nothing super major at all. Okay, it looks like the walkway is indeed working, which is great. Very, very happy with that. Let's go in here. Let's zone a kitchen. We'll zone a kitchen. We'll get a couple of cookers. We'll get a couple of fridges. We're just going to stick with one each. Because that seems all that we require. That's 20 bucks for a sink. That is ridiculously cheap. Cool. And then bring this pipe over here. Small pipe connection over yonder. Electrical cable out over here, uh, but then we have insufficient funds. No worries, we're actually fine for, uh, we're actually fine for funds at this moment in time. If we are able to take out a bank loan, which we totally are able to do. Continue down here, and across there. Excellent. So that is not too shabby if I do indeed say so myself. Stick it in three times speed because I don't like the night time. Not for any particular reason, just, you know, got to Got to be careful. Got to be careful about what happens at, uh, at night. What the heck are you doing? What the heck are you doing? You do not have a cell, and you're just wandering around? That seems very dangerous, in fact. Like, very, very dangerous indeed. Okay, get this all connected up. We are presumably pretty darn close to connecting up the utility cables, etc. Let's get that sorted. Also, the short-term investment is about to pay off, which is excellent because that's going to give us a whole bunch of cash. And I'm very, very, very excited about that. Brilliant! 16 grand, just like that. Also allows us to accept a brand new grant. Increase the size of your security force. Unlock body armor, tasers, CCTV monitors. Hmm... You know what? I think I will take cell block B, because cell block B should hopefully be completed once the padded cells are implemented over here. So, you know what? Let's get... Let's get this built. 
Let's get this built. Let's get... Am I going to replace all of these walls? I feel like I may replace some of the walls. I don't really want to replace the walls, to be honest. But here's hoping that it will not replace the walls. Okay, do that. Requires an entrance. That's totally fine. Cost a pretty significant amount of money, but we should be we should be absolutely a okay with that. Okay, you are very 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 irritated, um, and I'm very sorry that that's the case. We need to see if we can try and rectify that. Also, speaking of rectification, let's get a little bit of a a dirt transition over here so that it doesn't look you know absolutely abysmal. Very good stuff. Laundry is looking very dirty. I have no idea why that's the case. What's what's up with you? You tried to escape twice. You've had drugs found on you. That's not good. Not good at all. Uh, we've got one prisoner in maximum security. Honestly, I think I'm going to move you to medium security so that you can just, you know, find a cell and get moved in there. Uh, is this a... Is this currently allocated as... This is currently allocated as shared. Let's hold it. Let's let's say uh, insane, insane only. We could turn it into a padded holding cell, actually. That's not a terrible idea. Yeah, just rezone it as a padded holding cell, and uh, that's all the requirements sorted. We got four criminally insane prisoners. It doesn't feel great holding them in the holding cell at the current moment, but I don't think we have any choice, so therefore that's what we're gonna have to that's what we're gonna have to do. Uh, we require an entrance to all of these areas over here. So let's see if we can try and plonk down a door. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for doors. I'm looking for gosh darn doors. All right. A door right over there. A door right over here. We're going to need a whole bunch of jail doors in this area here too. And then this is going to all be zoned as a padded cell. Go into rooms, canteen. Can we zone this as a canteen yet? No, we cannot. That's fine. But we're not far off. Okay. So, for the first time in what feels like a long time, we're actually getting there. We're actually getting there. We're getting on top of our grants. We're getting on top of our prison management situation. Which is weird, given this is a management game and I haven't managed to fix it yet. It's not great. Also, janitors, janitors, janitors. Wowzers. We're in a bad place when it comes to when it comes to clean prison. Why is everyone so agitated? Mostly because of hygiene. People are pretty people are pretty agitated about uh, about the hygiene situation. But that's fine, I guess. Okay, looks like this area is not too bad. Ooh, we need to link up the sinks. Okay, for all of eight bucks, we can get that sorted. Uh, have we got people living in these cells? Just, uh... Let's just have a look. Uh, where is it that we look here? It's cell status. Yeah, occupied. Okay, so we've got one, one luxury-free medium security cell. Which is fine. We got an altercation? Yeah, we got an altercation over here. This is the... Is this the dude that I, um, that I put in... Is this the dude that I, uh, that I put into, that I put into medium security? Yeah, I may, w I may very well have accidentally put him into medium security before he was ready for it. Before he was ready to behave. That's fine. Staff morale is no, is low. What do the staff needs? The staff, the staff need toilets. Bladder and bowels. I, I hate to break it to you. Is that not kind of the same thing? Just... Like, is that not kind of... that not kind of the same thing? Okay, well, you know what? Let's see if we can... See if we can build a foundation. Build a concrete foundation out here. Cool. And then we will stick in... We'll stick in a toilet over here. That seems entirely reasonable. You know what? Cancel that. And instead, build... Foundations over there. Excellent. Do that. Uh, we will have a 
door in here. Is there? Do we have a bathroom door? I don't think we've got a bathroom door, do we? No. We'll get a staff door in there, and then we'll zone that as a toilet, and we will get that all sorted. Can we even zone as a toilet? I don't even know if we can zone as a toilet. I guess we just stick down... I guess we just stick down some toilets. We don't even need to zone it. That's totally fine. Okay, the... The wing that we wanted to get done over here has been built. Let's lock that door open. Now, let's have a little look. Tiled white walls. Yes. That is what I'm after. Let's do all of that as much as we can. Oh boy. The costs are gonna the costs are gonna mount because these are these are premium walls right here. But you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not going to scrimp on making this area look legit. Right, jail door in there. Let's get things zoned appropriately. Excellent. Good. Okay, wonderful. In fact, I can just zone all of that and it'll... This is a... I zoned everything as a padded holding cell, didn't I? That is ridiculously... That is ridiculously daft. Uh, that's fine. It's all zoned as two big cells at this moment in time, but it will be it will be fixed in a bit as soon as the walls go in. That's cool. Just want to make absolutely sure that that's the case. Grand. Okay. Get to work, everyone. We need to bring power over there. Uh, I'm not thrilled about doing that, but it'll have to be done, I suppose. Also, I tell you what. I can tell you what grant I would love to get done. I would love to build. I would love to build. A cleaning room so that we can start cleaning so that we can start cleaning the, the prisoners at uh, cleaning the prison using prison labor that would be really rather exceptional so that's probably gonna be the next grant that we try and get started uh, we are almost done serving three high variety high quantity meals for two days so that's really really nice the next couple of days are gonna be dicey because we're gonna have to reduce the quality of the food uh, in order to meet the grant, uh, the grant specifications, and that is going to increase the chance of uh, of a riot quite significantly, I would say. So you know what? Stay tuned for a potential riot. Goodness, golly, gracious me! Right, uh, ten padded cells, excellent. Hire two psychiatrists. I don't really want to hire two psychiatrists, but if needs must, then needs must. So, office, office, office. We've got six offices already. Zone that as an office. Zone that as an office. Ditch all of this planning nonsense. It's not required. We need to get the bits and bobs that we require for an office. Office desk. Uh, yeah, well, we need to get we need to get a certain type of chair, don't we? For the psychiatrist's office. I believe we need a wide sofa in each in each psychiatrist's office, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know what? I'm gonna put a... a wide, uh, a wide sofa just over there. Cool. Alright, and then we finish this area off with a little bit of additional white tiled wall. That's cool. Alright. Gonna lock this door open for now. And then that is... that is pretty much that. That is pretty much that. That's not that's not super terrible. I uh I like that. I like that a lot. If I was to sell these logs by the way, then I would be I'd be in the money. Right. Why why are you not Why are you not wh where are you going? End punishment. End the punishment of this prisoner. Can we get him taken somewhere please? I have no idea why he's not being He's not being moved. Is he being moved now? No, he's not being moved. Escort prisoner to holding cell? Yep, that would be great if we could do that as swiftly as we possibly can, please. I don't like having prisoners just wandering around the estate. It is rather a... Rather a, uh, a security risk. Uh, a, a hazard. An additional hazard that I would rather not contemplate. Cool. Alright, so after that, we need to... We need to see if we can get these, uh, get this area kitted out. Oh, I tell you what I wanted to do. Let's zone this as a canteen real quickly. In fact, this could be zoned as a canteen. This is better as a canteen, and then this is better as a shower area, I guess. Cool. We'll, we'll get some... I'll put it over 
on this side, actually, I think. This area can be zoned as a shower. Let me get some shower heads over here. Excellent. And we will get some drains over there, just to make sure that no water actually drains out of the room here. The canteen. The canteen is going to get kitted out with state-of-the-art tables and benches. That's right. And a small table and bench as well, just to see, just if that's required. I doubt it actually will be, but you never know. It's, uh, there's a chance. Okay, 87% of the way through the nutrition mission. There we go, lock that open too. Excellent, the office is ready for a... Is ready for a, a, a person to occupy it, which is great. Pretty happy about that. Looking very, very good. Raise your prisoner capacity to 50. We are very, very close to bringing that online. Very, very close to bringing that online. We now just need a bed. Comfy bed or an old bed. Is there anything... Is there anything that I would prefer? I mean, an old bed seems... Seems kind of cool. Foam mattress. You know what? Full mattress seems like something that we should be rolling out now, given the financial situation. Uh, then we also need a toilet as well. There we go. Excellent. And then the expensive part is going to come. Where we are going to need to bring water all the way over here. Which I am not enthusiastic about, but it needs to be done. Okay. Excellent. That's good. That's that's gonna wipe me out. I mean, that is, there is no way that I can, there is no way that I can deal with that financially. However, we should be able to, we should be able to raise our prisoner capacity as soon as the beds are stuck into the, uh, are stuck into the criminally insane wing. So we'll deal with that. We'll deal with that real soon. What's the issue here? We got a lot of... Got a lot of resources? Yeah, we got a lot of resources. But that's fine. Cool. Alright, you know what? Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm pretty pretty darn chuffed with that. Oh, yes. We need to we need to get a bathroom for the staff. The staff are pretty... You know what? Sure. Let's... Let's do that. Uh, do we need... Do we need privacy? Is privacy a thing that we really care about in this prison? Ah, I don't want to say no, but but no, no, we do, we do not care about it at all. Uh, so should we get like what? Can we get two different stalls? Not really. It's a bit of a bit of a tight fit in here. We can get one stall. We can get one stall. I think. We get one stall, and then we can just have two toilets sitting out in the open. How about that? Sure, great. We have one stall, and then, uh, and then, and then everything else is just out there. Fine. Okay. Let me get a pipe up here. Pipe up here. I'll just do it with small pipes, because I don't believe that we will need to use uh, a large pipe anyway. Was that dog? Did that dog eat the food? What the heck happened there? What the heck happened there? All right, have we got the mattress and the toilets installed yet? No, not yet. The workers are on it. Eight staff members are exhausted. Yep, that that ain't good. That ain't good at all. Why are these guys not in the in the holding cell? Yeah, they should be in the holding cell. That's that's where that's where they should be kept at least for now. Uh, Eleven prisoners are up for parole. We really do need to try and get rid of some of these prisoners. Because allowing us to get additional prisoners in would be great. Uh, you know what? I will approve your transfer to minimum security. Excellent. Congratulations. You've been moved to minimum security. Uh, we don't have that many people in minimum security, but you're more than welcome to, uh, to go there if indeed you wish to. I presume that you've behaved well. I don't know. I didn't really check your record. Yeah, we'll deal with transfer. We'll deal with transfers later. But I mean, if you've been if you've been approved for uh, for a move to minimum, then you know you must have behaved to some degree, which is uh, which is excellent. And uh, 
you, that should be commended. You know, good behavior should indeed be commended. That's exactly what we want to do. Okay. Keep on building this pipe. That's cool. And let's get the toilets in place. We've got, what, one or two toilets? One or two toilets in place. We are definitely going to hit 50 cells in just a second, which is pretty darn exciting. However, we also need to get a bunch of pipe installed. And we are out of money. We are down to one singular dollar. One singular dollar. But thankfully, it doesn't look like any prisoners will be moving in here for a little while and we're about to we're about to be we're about to be twenty thousand dollars richer as soon as a couple more beds are installed which is excellent i tell you what i would love to hire some more janitors because janitors really are necessary but you know what you know what's cheaper than janitors prisoners prisoners doing the cleaning that's what i'm after that's what i really want to do okay let's go into grants and let me see if i can do uh yes this is it prisoner acclimatization and engagement so We've got an advance. We've got an advance to build a laundry, a kitchen, and a cleaning cupboard. Now, we can just deploy, I believe, we can assign... Can we assign prisoners? We assign prisoners to this to this area here. We assign them with... We assign them with... We used to do it through this through this way, but, uh, but apparently... Apparently, that's not the case... Because I want to, I want to assign, I want to assign prisoners. Ah, there we go. It's through logistics instead. Okay, three to their kitchen safety and hygiene. I mean, I can assign prisoners, but they may not work there. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then we just need to get a cleaning cupboard. Okay, boy, oh boy, oh boy. I've been waiting a long time for a cleaning cupboard. How big does a cleaning cupboard actually need to be? Because I think I've got the perfect place for it. Needs to be three by three. I was thinking that could be the greatest cleaning cupboard of all time, but unfortunately, it was not meant to be. You know what? Let's let's see if we can cram it in somewhere else. What about over here? Tell you what, that's a pretty darn good idea. That is indoors. Yep, and it is three by three. What do we need? What do we need for the cleaning cupboard? I presume that we don't need anything for the cleaning cleaning cupboard. I think that the cleaning cupboard will uh, will order supplies itself. Which is quite nice. Uh, it's logistics that we, we do. One, two. Uh, we can make the cleaning cupboard a little touch bigger. What am I looking for? Cleaning cupboard. Yep. Cool. Alright. This is the cleaning cupboard now, apparently. It's pretty unsafe to have... Pretty unsafe to have... Uh, this many prisoners in the... In the essential area that uh, provides power and water to the entirety of the prison, but that's fine. Okay, what do we got? What do we got over here? We got a death. Why is everyone... Why is everyone agitated? Let me go into needs. Sleep, recreation, hygiene. It's hygiene, mostly. Uh-oh, this is not good. Our staff have become unhappy with their working conditions in the prison and have threatened to go on strike if they, go, if they don't get a 50% pay rise. Uh, okay, that's gonna happen in five hours. That presents us with a little bit of a problem because I'm not really making any money at this moment in time. I did just get, I did just get a whole bunch of money from completing the, from completing the, uh, the prison work, the prison work grant, but that money I was kind of hoping would go towards the criminally insane wing. Yeah, look at that. Cool. All right. Get this done. We need to finish this wing before I give the staff a pay rise. Maybe on the DL, I can give them a pay decrease at some point later. But for now, we're just going to have to roll with it. Okay, cool. We need to hire two psychiatrists as well. Two psychiatrists. Please find yourself to this office over here. Excellent. Psychiatrist's office. Requires psychiatrist office. Does it need to be a psychiatrist office? I didn't realize it was a bespoke psychiatrist office. Ah, there is indeed. Okay, fine. Okay, rezoned. Excellent. 
rezoned, you've already got all of the required components anyway, so psychiatrists can uh, can head over there right now. That does take us into negative cash flow territory, which is uh, a big old problem, if indeed I do say so myself. All right, you know what? Let's give the staff what they want. Let's give the staff what they want. It's in... Is it in grants? No. Is it in staff? No. You'd think that... Uh, You'd think that staff pay would be in staff, but apparently it's not. It's in finance. Here we go. Okay. A pay increase of 50%, you say. One, two, three, four, five, ten thousand per day. Oh my goodness gracious me. Okay, so that is going to take our financial position to questionable at best. We need to seriously increase the number of prisoners that we have here. Like, seriously, 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 seriously increase the number of prisoners that we have here. Uh, also... I think I may need to I may need to dismantle this door and instead replace it with a just a regular door because at the moment I suspect that only staff are going to be able to access the cleaning cupboard and I want to make sure that it's not only staff that can access the cleaning cupboard because we need to make sure that prisoners are able to get in here 3600 bucks per day wowzers wowzers okay door in there right can I just start to reduce the pay again. Okay. I've reduced the pay. Hopefully the staff don't notice. I'm now making money again. Excellent. Okay. So, if I fulfilled some... If I fulfill some more staff needs, then maybe, just maybe, that would be great. Uh, can I allocate this as staff only? This area here. Staff only. Cool. So, now that that's staff only, can you... Can you go to the bathroom? Yes, you can indeed. Excellent. That should rectify all of the critical staff needs. Excellent. Okay. Apparently, you don't mind sharing sharing the bathroom with another member of staff. Just as well, eh? Just as well. That's, that's great. Also, we've just finished the nutritional... Uh, the nutritional requirement, which is excellent because... Because, because, because. Let's decrease the bank loan, by the way. Uh, because we can now... We can now go and get ourselves... Put into a, a bit of a dangerous position. Where the heck is it? I can never flip and remember. It's in policy, isn't it? I know it's in policy. Yeah, nutritional policy. What do we want? A single low-quantity, low-variety meal. Low-quantity, low-variety meal. It needs to be changed on the regime as well. You know what? We'll just make this the only meal of the day. Let's put in showers, maximum security. It's all the same for uh, for now. And eating. Let's let's give you let's give you a couple of hours extra of sleeping. How about that? So you sleep for ages, then shower, then you work. Cool. That seems entirely reasonable. All right. Excellent. So hopefully. Now that we're able to give prisoners a little bit of extra sleeping time, they might forget that they're being fed uh, garbage. Just hot garbage. Absolute garbage. All right, we're also we're also making money, which is excellent. It's really, really good. Uh, have I unlocked orderlies? I have indeed unlocked orderlies. So let's see if we can try and place down a couple of orderlies. Let's get two of them. Cool. Where are you, where are you heading off to? Where the heck are you going? Uh, can I equip you to a specific room? Assign orderlies to this area. Yeah, both of them can be assigned to this area. Cool. All right, and we will close all of these doors. There doesn't really need to be a guard over here, but it's not necessarily... It's not necessarily terrible that there is a guard over here. Also, we could indeed think about expanding our prison. However, that seems like a problem for uh, another day, another time, in all honesty. How did you end up... How did you end up uh, getting hurt? That ain't, that ain't good. That ain't, that ain't super hot. Okay, keep on, keep on keeping on here, chaps. Keep on building. Excellent. All of the lights should indeed be on. The psychiatry... Uh, the psychiatry... Folks over there will be able to start a program 
on is it behavioral therapy led by a psychologist in an office no i'm looking for the one that yeah psychiatric consultation yes excellent let's start that start that start that start that no room found okay well that's as many as we can as many as we can do uh i'm also going to go to regime criminally insane programs free time yeah excellent good stuff okay then we go back to programs see if we can start some more stuff i don't think i don't think this is gonna work i just have a feeling that it won't work yeah there's five people in a queue cool let's queue up a whole bunch of slots uh between 10 and 11 a.m it may very well be tomorrow that it uh that it takes place but that's fine okay we need to intake 10 criminally insane patients so you know what i am actually going to turn my intake back on i'm going to turn my intake back on there we go criminally insane supermax supermax is a no maximum security is a no medium security is a yes but i don't want to take on any minimum security so let's just only take on medium security and criminally insane so how many criminally insane patients do i have six at this moment in time excellent to be honest medium security is is looking pretty empty at this moment in time we could really really do with uh, getting it spruced up a little bit which is grand how happy are you you don't seem particularly happy you've got a lot of needs you've got a lot of needs too do you do anything what is what is your what is your concern do you have any problems you seem to you seem to not have any problems which is which is excellent uh i don't understand why that's the case but hey ho uh you are maximum security which is a bit of a bummer because i don't really have space for uh for maximum security so you know what let's change this into a regular old holding cell and then this can be stuck as shared which is grand yeah where the heck are you going where the heck are you going are you being put in a cell over here what the heck definitely should not be in a cell over here why are you in a cell over here this is a minimum security prison not a maximum security uh security cell this what what is happening what is what is what is what is what is happening minimum security only why is this not able to be why is this not able to be set as uh, as minimum security only is it because the door is locked open all right unlock the unlock the door does that allow anything to be changed no why 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 i can assign guards to this area yet i can't assign it as minimum security what the heck is happening what the actual heck is happening oh man that is that is not good okay well we've got prisoners arriving in 12 hours that's great uh we've still got 31 grand which is quite nice uh we're gonna deal with all that how big does a par parole room need to be because i need to start doling out the parole if you know what i mean I need to start filtering people out of the out of the out of this area here you know what let's make it a let's make it a seven by seven enclosure shall we and we'll make it right over here i uh, i'm feeling pretty fortunate that i haven't really been faced with how big is that that's eight by seven okay i accidentally made it a touch big is that fine that's seven by seven now cool all right so get that done uh i don't think that that will yeah do that instead excellent so that's going to give us a seven by seven space in the middle and it's not going to mean that that wall is uh is going to get built uh it's going to get knocked down even because we want to keep that wall very much erected there okay great get this all built please as soon as possible would be grand let's skip forward because the morning is what we are is what we're after right so you have a lot of uh, a lot of needs right you're being moved out of here 
Okay, suddenly this is, uh, this is assignable. Excellent. Okay, this is minimum security only, as you can probably tell. As it always should have been. Is, uh, is locking the doors open perhaps causing a little bit of a problem? I feel like it may be. Is there a reason that this, that there needs to be a door here? You know, we can just dismantle this door. Yeah, sure. Dismantle this door. Uh, also, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we need to allocate some time for, uh, for jobs. So I'm going to allocate some additional time for uh, for working here. There we go. Okay, so everyone's able to work. Maximum security. I mean, maximum security is in is in lockup. I don't want to. I don't want to see any. I don't want to see any maximum security prisoners. I.e., the only one that we have. I don't want to see him working in the uh, in the laundry or in the cleaning cupboard or or anywhere. I don't want him. I don't want him anywhere near any of the critical infrastructure in this prison. Right. So parole room. Let's get that sorted. Excellent. We just need a visitor table, and I believe it is only one visitor table that we need. Cool. So let's get that down. And then, do we need to schedule parole hearings, or will they just happen? Either way, we can definitely we can definitely start doing that. Do we need to do we need to do anything along those lines in order to in order to get a uh, in order to get a grant? I don't think so. Education, we could do education. That's definitely something that we can do. Uh, as soon as we're done with nutrition, maybe we'll take up education. Prison manufacturing, that just seems crazy. Cell block C, I mean we need we need another we need another form of just making money. Because we don't have a form of making money at this moment in time. You know, holding medium security prisoners, holding minimum security prisoners, it's a it's a miserable it's a miserable gig. It is a miserable, miserable, miserable gig. Okay, food distribution, food distribution is looking grand. I have no idea why this kitchen has worked spectacularly. There might be a range, like a max range to the kitchen that I apparently am just missing, but I, I don't know. I don't know what it could be. Either way, the staff, I suspect, are probably fairly happy at the moment if we go to needs and check out staff needs. Yeah, a couple of them have high bladders, but that's, that's fine. I suspect that for the most part, they're pretty darn satisfied. Uh, we could maybe look at getting a couple of additional sofas, but yeah, that's, that's it really. That, that's all that we could really, uh, it's all that we could really improve upon, which is good. Okay, we've got all of the orderlies chilling out over here, which is great. Uh, recreation and a little bit of freedom. Yeah, we could give them a, a yard. We could give these prisoners a yard over here somewhere. Uh, and in fact, that may very well be what we do. I tell you what, when the morning comes around, why don't we see if we can stick a yard in here. Excellent. Uh oh, what was that? Something was found. I didn't, uh, I didn't check what that was, but that, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's nothing to, nothing to concern me about. Excellent. Secure at least behind one door. Don't worry. We're going to sort it out right now. Let me get a wall and door. We're going to get a fence door. That's right. Standard fence door in there. Walls, excellent, and we'll get a large jail door right in there. Cool. All right. I think that's going to make for a pretty darn decent yard. I don't know if there's anything that we want to... I don't know if there's anything else that we want to stick in the yard, uh, but for now, that's, that's not too bad. Okay, so we've got visitation. That's grand. Do we need to schedule parole hearings, or is this... Is... Is this not something that we need to deal with? Uh, parole staff cutoff. 30%. Yeah, fine. No, I'm looking pro I'm looking for programs. Is this in progress at this moment in time? Are we able to are we able to do this? Oh look, everyone's chilling out a little bit. That's excellent. Parole hearing. Yes. Okay, let's start parole hearings. Start, 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 start. Cool. Okay. That is the maximum number of parole hearings that we can that we can hold, which is great. Hopefully that will show as in progress as soon as that is able to as soon as that is able to begin. No idea when that's gonna be, but hopefully it is soon. Alright, and here come and here come a whole bunch of prisoners. 
Excellent. Okay, a huge number of prisoners have been have been taken in, and that satisfies the criminally insane grant, which is brilliant. Not to mention it fills up to the brim our medium security wing, which is oh so darned important. Very, very important, in fact. Right. Any chance that we can maybe work on work on cleaning? Is that is that a thing that's happening? Have we been have we been cleaning up the prison recently? Yeah, I don't know, uh, I don't know why, I don't know why we're, uh, we're not able to, I don't know why we're not able to get this, uh, to get this sorted. Okay, deprioritize the janitor, I guess. Man, we need so many more janitors than we currently have. We, we really, really do. Okay, logistics, yeah, why are we not able to, why are we not able to get the prisoners, why are we not able to get the prisoners sorted? Yeah. I mean, 12. 12, 12, 12 prisoners can work in here. So, medium security and minimum security should be able to work in the next hour. So, let's see. Let's see after... Let's see after 10, see what happens here, right? We'll see if all of these roles do indeed get filled. I'm hoping that they do. Also, these guys can't shower. That's a bit of a problem. Okay, right. Do any... Do any prisoners get to work in here? It doesn't look like any of the prisoners are actually getting to work anywhere. Looks like they're all just staying in their cells. Is it because they're not allowed... Is it because they're not allowed somewhere? Hmm. It may very well be because they're not allowed to get to this area. What if I was to build a cleaning closet somewhere, somewhere around here? So brick building in there. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, okay. Let's see if we can build a brick building in there. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll make a little bit of a difference. It may not, but it may. Okay, let's keep it unlocked. Not a good policy to have the, the door to the cleaning closet be just a regular old door, but we're going to give it a shot nonetheless. Okay, we're making a really, really, really decent amount of money right now, which is excellent. Very, very happy with that. Okay, prisoners are going to be fed, but they're going to be fed with gruel and, uh, frankly, absolutely abysmal quality food. Rooms, let's get a... Cleaning cupboard allocated. Cool. Uh, that has been sorted. Medium security only. Okay, great. So, will that allow... Will that allow for a slightly more streamlined process? Hopefully it'll work. Also, we need some more tables in here, don't we? We absolutely do. We need some more benches. We need some more tables. It's a, uh, it's a big wing. It's a big... It's a big wing, and we should probably get a couple of more tables to accommodate uh, accommodate everyone's backsides whilst they are eating their lunch. Or indeed, I should say lunch, but it's actually all of their meals. So, it's lunch, breakfast, and dinner. All rolled into one. That's what it is. That's what it is. Okay, then we go into prison labor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. Now, will will you work? Will you work? You've got yard time now, but between 5 uh, and 7, you may well be able to uh, be able to work a little bit. There may be something in transfers that I'm that I'm missing here. Also, parole hearings are apparently happening the whole darn time. Oh, I should make sure. I should make sure that we have one guard always in the parole hearing. At all times. Just to make sure. Just to make sure that there is somebody on call to, you know, de-stress situation if indeed that is required. Okay, this is work time and nobody seems to be working. Am I perhaps missing something? Patro uh, parole hearing is active. 
kitchen safety, don't care about kitchen safety, behavioral therapy, no, guard taser certification, no, not worried about that. Is there something in transfers that allows me to sort out, that allows me to sort out work? No, I don't think so, not as far as I'm aware. And I don't think that we've got a work policy. Yeah, you're allowed to you're allowed to work uh, if you're in medium security. We've got we've got uh, we've got misconduct policy, but I mean that's fine. I, I'm not particularly not particularly uh, upset about that. Yeah, that's fine. I think we're. I think we're okay. It's just uh, I can't figure out why the heck we're not able to we're not able to work here. Right. Let's go into doors. Staff door. Stick a staff door in there so we can get in both sides. And then you know what I'm gonna do. Okay. You know what? It's time. Medium security shakedown has to be done. Really sorry, chaps, but it's uh, it's happening. Okay. Dezone this as a cleaning closet because it's not really a cleaning closet, is it? Okay, a lot of a lot of nasty stuff is being found, which is making me think twice about Which is making me think twice about giving all of these people their privileges. We've got two people in solitary and three in lockdown Or three people or one person in lockdown and a good couple awaiting lockdown Are these actually solitary cells? They are actually totally solitary cells uh, We're just waiting for you to get picked up and taken back to your to your place. Cool. All right. Well, you know, that is what it is. We're looking good. We've got a good amount of cash flow. We only have to endure this miserable, uh, this uh, utterly miserable dietary thing for a day longer. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck happened? Where did our, where did our, uh, where did our chap die? It's a guard? Oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious me. You you killed a guard. You you murdered a guard. Okay. Can I put you in criminally insane? I can't put you in criminally insane. I would love to. Uh I unfortunately can only put you in solitary confinement for 24 hours. That is that is a big old shame. Uh, did we get did we get money from releasing a prisoner early? I think we did. Wowzers. Okay, where's the last location that we need to shake down? There's two two additional locations that we need to shake down, and I cannot for the life of me figure out where the heck they are. Looks like the game can't figure out where the heck they are either. Okay. Why are you not able to be moved across here? We've got a capacity of 10. Padded cells. We've got loads of padded cells. What's the occupancy of these padded cells? Uh, I'm looking for a cell status. Yeah, we've got two cells that are currently unoccupied. All right, nice. I'm going to also hire another janitor. In fact, to be honest, I need to hire a lot of janitors. Brilliant. Hire a bunch of janitors. We need to start cleaning stuff up a little bit more regularly. Because I'm sick and tired of this prison looking like a pigsty. It's not good enough, I tell you. It's not good enough. So let's get that sorted. 72% through the uh, through our inmate nutrition research, which is uh, a little bit, a little bit of a nasty grant, but we need to do it. Tool cleanup. Remove the supply of stolen tools. Let's do that. Remove the supply of stolen weapons. Okay, let me go into intelligence and see what the heck is up with uh, with stolen weapons, because I have. Absolutely no idea what's going on. Deadly. Yeah, you are you are awful. You are absolutely awful. So where is where is the supply of stolen weapons coming from? Okay, cell phones are being smuggled in mostly by the families. Stolen weapons are coming from They're coming from this. They're coming from the food. They're coming from the food uh the food area. Can we go for another shakedown? I don't think another shakedown is... 
is required, but uh, search the stack of eggs. Search the... We can't search the cook, unfortunately. We go for another shakedown? Go for another shakedown. Shakedown minimum security instead, eh? Give that a shot, eh? Okay, there is nothing to be found in minimum security. People in minimum security are are very chill. Right, shakedown shared, because I suspect that the supply of stolen weapons is coming from the kitchen. That's my suspicion anyway. Nope. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. A bit surprising. Very surprising, in fact. Also, you know what I've just realized? We need to make sure that this is allocated as insane only. There we go. So I don't want anyone who's not criminally insane to be chilling out over there. Yeah, wow, the shakedown the shakedown was done and uh and that was lame. Okay, you know what? Let's let's research medium security. Cause that's probably where That's probably where the stuff is coming in, but I don't I don't know where the heck I don't know where the hell this, uh, heck it could be coming from. Okay, that was it. That was it. That's all we needed to do in order to in order to find a stolen weapon. Apparently we'd missed a singular fountain pen. That was all. That was all. Fine. That's great. Okay. Eight awaiting solitary confinement. We need to sort that out. To be honest, that is definitely something that we need to get on top of. The fact that we've got continual par parole hearings is is pretty good, actually. It's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, maximum security infrastructure is almost certainly next. I mean, we're getting to the big grants here. We're getting to the big grants, and I'm and I'm apprehensive about maximum security because we're gonna need to we're gonna need to get maximum security. Given that we've got the guy that's currently in the holding cell who killed the uh, who killed the armed guard, that definitely needs to get rectified. We need to find some way of doing that. Maybe we put maximum security up on this little island up here. In fact, you know what? Sure as heck, that's what I'm gonna do. However, we'll have to do that next time. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you oh so much for watching this episode of Prison Architect. My name, of course, is Obra Potato. Thanks as ever to the fantastic Obra Potato Patreon supporters over on patreon.com forward slash Obra Potato. Also, thanks to Banana Nanana and C Senpai for being the two twenty-five dollar plus tier patrons. Thank you very, very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.